Hello, thank you for joining me on my video series, Installing and Configuring IBM Domino 9 Social Edition on CentOS 6. I'm covering both 64-bit and 32-bit installation and configuration. I am your host, Devin Olson, and this is Part 5, User Account and SSH Service Setup. So, in our previous uh, videos up until this point, we have installed our CentOS server, we've gotten some security settings in place, we've gotten some services taken care of, we've disabled the SE Linux service, and we've gotten our firewall up and running. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to create our, our first user and uh, get SSH operational. So, let's get started. Here we are at the server console. I'm going to go ahead and log back in. And I'm logged in. What I need to do now is, <clears throat> in a Linux environment, all users are part of groups. And it's the combination of group and users that is used to control access and control your security and what you can do in terms of access to files and resources and what certain types of things you can do with a file. Can you execute a file or just read it, etc. So all of that is controlled through the concept of group and user security. Additionally, there are things like scripts. Every user has certain scripts that run specific to that user. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have some fun here. The first thing what I want to do is I want to move this light slightly. I want to create a group. And this is going to be the group that we're going to be using for my um, CentOS um, Domino installation. So um, I don't know, I think perhaps Domino sounds like a cool group name. So I'm going to go ahead and I need to add that group. So I'm going to use the command group add and Domino. D-O-M-I-N-O. Domino. So that sounds like a pretty good thing. It's that simple. That's all there is to it. It's that easy. I now have a group created in my CentOS environment. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a user. And so I'm going to use the user add command. And it's not nearly as simple as the group add. The first thing I need to do with the user add command is I need to tell Linux what group my user is going to be in. So I'm going to do that with the minus G parameter, minus G for group, and then the name of the group, Domino. You'll notice I don't have any spacing between the minus G parameter and the group name. And the reason I don't have any spacing in there is because if I had spacing, the command might misinterpret um, that I was giving a parameter, another parameter versus an argument to this parameter. So that's why there's no space there. It's a little frustrating and a little confusing to me, but this is how I was trained and this is how it seems to work. So we're just going to kind of go with it. So minus G and then the name of the group, no space. Now we have a space. The next uh, parameter is the minus S parameter, which tells... Um, the Linux operating system, what the startup shell for the user is, where to find the shell where all of the user scripts are going to exist for this particular user, so minus s, and then that shell will be uh, slash bin slash bash, the bin bash shell, uh, that's where it can find those startup scripts, and then uh, minus d is the parameter to tell the system what this user's home directory will be, and it's minus d slash home, and then the name of the user. And the name of the user I'm going to give is going to be uh, notes, N-O-T-E-S. And now, finally, we can give it the name of the user, minus m for make, and we put a space in. Why? I don't know why. This is how you got to do it. So, and then the name of the user will be notes. So there's my command, user add, minus g domino, minus s slash bin bash slash bash minus d slash home slash notes minus m space notes hit enter i don't get any feedback that means it worked so notes is now created the user now exists the next thing i want to do is i want to add a password for my user and so i'm going to use the password command p-a-s-s-w-d i want to create a password and who do i want to create the password for i want to create the password for notes and here I go, password notes, and I hit enter, and now the system is asking me what password shall I give to my notes user. And I'm going to give my notes user a really, really simple password. I'm going to say password. 
That's a really bad password, but I'm going to do it because this is a VM and it's going to be deleted shortly. So password is my password. Oh, look, Linux is smart enough to tell me, hey, you idiot, you moron. That's a bad password. It's based on a dictionary word. It can be hacked very, very easily. Retype your new password. Guess what? Because it's Linux and because I'm signed in as root, even though it says that's a bad password, if I retype password again, it says, okay, you're the root user. You want to do something stupid? You want to shoot yourself in the foot? Fine. Be my guest. Go right ahead. You're allowed to do stupid things. It doesn't care. It's going to let me do it. So now I have created the root user, or excuse me, not the root user. I've created my notes user in the group uh, domino, and I've given it a password of password. The next thing I want to do is I want to start my SSH service so that I can log into this machine from another terminal from a remote console. So service is the name of, of, of the instruction. I want to deal with the service. What service do I want to use? I want to use the SSHD service and I would like it to restart. Please. So boom, there it is. It's up. It's operational. So my SSH service has started. I've created the user. I can do all kinds of cool stuff now. I can, in fact, log in remotely, which is what we're going to do next. But that's in the next video. So um, once again, uh, this was a nice quick video, real short, real easy to do. Uh, if you've been following along at this point, you've created your user, so great. Um, again, you can learn about uh, XPages by going to my learningxpages.com site. You can read my blog at devinolson.net. If you go to my buddy David Leedy's site, you're going to have the opportunity to read all or watch all kinds of very, very cool videos teaching you all kinds of very, very cool things you can do with Notes and Domino. Once again, I am Devin Olson, and I thank you very much for joining me.